Introduction In class 6, we saw how shadows are formed. We observed that the shape of the shadow changes according to the position of source of light and the position of object. We drew shadows of some objects and we noticed that the rays of light travel in a straight line by the observation of shape of the shadows. We came to know that when light falls on the object, it will reflect by the surface of that object and if that reflected light reaches our eyes, we can see that object. In this class, we try to learn more about reflection of light. Let us come to know how we will able to see our clear image in a plane mirror from the activity. Consider a dark room. Case 1. When we point a torch towards the mirror so that its light fall on the mirror which we hold and we can see our image in the mirror. Case 2. Turn the torch towards our face and try to see our image in the mirror. From the above two cases, we understood that when light is focused on our face, we can see our image clearly in the mirror. We can also notice that when light is focused on the mirror, we find a dim image of our face in the mirror. Let us know why does it happen? Trace of light. Take a mirror strip and a black paper. Cover the mirror strip with black paper. Cut a 1 mm fit slit in the black paper. Hold the mirror strip with the slit facing the sun. We will see some light coming through the slit. Let this light fall on a sheet of paper spread on the ground. Light coming from such a slit or any other small hole looks like a ray of light. Let us observe how light reflects. Place a black sheet of paper on the ground such that part of it in the sunlight and other part of it is in the shadow. Hold the mirror strip with the slit facing the sun. Let a ray of light from the slit fall on the paper. Now, take another mirror strip and place it on the path of this light ray such that the ray coming from first mirror falls on the second mirror. This effect of the mirror strip on the ray of light is called reflection. The ray of light Falling on the mirror is called the incident ray, I, and the ray returning from it is called the reflected ray, R. Let us know laws of reflection. Relationship between the direction of the incident ray and direction of the reflected ray. Activity Take a sheet of black paper. Draw a line segment AP across the middle. Draw another straight line at right angle to segment AP. The second line should bisect segment AP at point B that is called as normal line. Draw two lines from point B on the left side of the normal and two on the right side. The lines should be at angles of 30 degrees and 60 degrees respectively from the normal. Number these lines 1, 2, 3, 4. Place a mirror strip vertically on segment AC with its reflecting surface facing the normal. See that the back of the mirror coincides the segment AC. Take the mirror strip with a slit and let its light ray fall along line 4. 
as we did in the earlier experiment. Now, this ray is the incident ray for the mirror. The angle between the normal and the incident ray is called the angle of incidence I. The angle between normal and the reflected ray is called the angle of reflection R. Etch is the mirror strip with the slit so that its light ray falls along line 3. Observe on which line the reflected ray falls. Adjust the mirror strip with the slit so that its light ray falls along normal. Then the angle of incidence is 0 degree. The particle is moving parallel to the surface and could not actually hit it at all. Note, observe this diagram carefully. The ray of light from the candle is reflected at the mirror and bounces off at the same angle as it comes to the mirror. Our eye does not know that the light has been reflected. Our eye sees the object in the mirror and feels that light is coming from that candle which seems to be behind the mirror. In this way, we see an image of the candle. 